Good morning, everybody. This is Dawn Orahood again with Scrapbook Sage. I wanted to take a few minutes to share this cute little junk journal that I made for my friend, Trisha Cole. She is going to be heading out on the road with her family, and we are going to stay in correspondence through YouTube and just chatting and everything. We're business partners, and we both have fallen in love with junk journaling this past year. So we've been having fun being creative together and but she's going to be traveling the United States this next year. And I wanted to make this cute little RV happy glamper junk journal for her and her trip. And if you're interested in seeing, um, a, seeing our adventures and how we share life together and how we continue to scrapbook and share ideas, feel free to follow me at Scrapbook Sage and follow Trisha at the Cool Cole family. So here you go. I'm just going to flip through this journal that I made for her and we'll go from there. I put some pretty purple lace on here. She loves purple. I used some fabric here and cut out a Happy Glamper camping trailer from Cricut. Did some fussy cutting for some grass here and the banners here. Fussy cut out some little trailers and the Ferris wheel there. Trisha's favorite color is purple, and I just wanted to send her off with a fun, colorful journal so she can um, do some memory keeping and keep some notes about her adventures. I put a little note in here for her, and I have included some cards throughout the book so she can write her friends and family about her adventures. Um, once again, I wanted to um, apologize for the video being a little bit shaky. I will be getting an overhead camera, but it might be a few days before I get it. I used some book pages for the journal since they're going to be camping. I thought these were really cute. Here's a Huckleberry Finn picture. And I'm not quite sure where, what I, where I got this book, what this page was from, but... And they're going to be on their road trip, and I gave them some map pages. Here's some a cute little bunny. This is Lindsay Zenner's digital art. You can check her out at Nevermore Creation 17. She has really been an inspiration to both of us as we've entered the junk journaling world. This is another one of Lindsay J Zenner's pages. This is her boho turtles. And so their camping trip really has been the inspiration for this journal and our friendship. We have been um, crafting together for a couple years and we're business partners. We had a little craft booth at a local antique shop together for a season and um, now she's going to go on the road and we're going to take our shop to YouTube. It might be a little while before I get everything posted but that's something you guys can look forward to. Oh here's some more ephemera from Lindsay Zenner. Here's a little tag that I made that I'll be posting some of these in our shop. Just leave that there for now, not fuss with it. Here is um, another piece of artwork from Lindsay Zenner. That is her ephemera card and a little ephemera piece there. And she was the one who shared with me about making paper ribbons and I just think they're adorable. I've kept the book pretty simple. I haven't done a whole lot of embellishments or done a lot with it because I know Trish, Trisha will have a fun time adding things and repurposing things. And she may tear out pages. She may love things. She may hate things, but she'll make it work. She is so creative. I love to just hand something to Trisha and see what she comes up with. She's so creative. Oh, and here's a little 
journaling card that I just put some stamps on. This is one of my own pictures that I've taken. I'm going to be putting some digital artwork in our shop as well from my own photos and hopefully highlighting some other friends and their artwork too. I um, love the vintage look and I also like the more modern looks of um, junk journaling pages. So I hope to connect with, um, have some of my friends art, different photography highlighted as well. Oh, this was something that was fun. I, well, actually it was a mistake. <laughs> I had this cute scrapbook paper and I was going to print another picture of mine of cherry blossoms. And I ended up printing up, printing it on the wrong side, but it ended up being so cute. I kept it in the book and then just printed another picture that reminded me of Trisha on the other side. I know her and her family will have fun and I'll put some great pictures in here and this will be an opportunity for them to just share some great times and um, a way to keep those memories all in one place. I did a flip out with a map here. It'll be fun. I showed the journal that I made for myself this year and I'll be doing scrap with me projects with that. I hope to um, see what it'll be fun to see how Trish uses this journal and um, as we learn different techniques and share those with each other and with people on with all of you guys. And then I have this old piece of scrapbook paper that about friends and it was just fun to add it. it had purple in it and just seemed per perfect. This is just a cute, sweet picture. Trish knows I love daisies. And um, these just reminded me of the little lights they would have outside of their camper. I love these airplanes. Trish. We um, were doing a craft show together and she folded up tiny little airplanes like this big and put them all in a jar about, it was a good sized jar. She did many, many airplanes out of maps and sold that jar at the craft show. And I thought it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen and that was ever sold in our craft shows. So both Trish and I made little tags. This is one that she made. She's so funny. She's just really creative with everything that she does. She put the little well, she cut out the little tiny well and put it in the middle of the bingo card. That's hilarious. Okay. And we're coming to the end of the book. Just short and sweet. Another card there for her. And this is her happy glamper journal. She hasn't seen it yet, but she'll see it this afternoon. And hopefully we'll get this posted in the next day or so. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.